no, why does that always happen? Every week, every week I show my desktop. There's nothing dodgy on there, but it's just so unbelievably unprofessional. Okay, so, <laughs> Christ. but it's time for picture round, picture round. Uh, okay, so for those of you that are patrons uh, or did the GoFundMe and are now are sort of uh, honorary patrons and have your memberships, you will need a password to get it. And the, I don't do this password to make it secret. It's just, it's just I don't want people to to get the posters before the quiz starts. So the password uh, that you require is, <laughs> it's not, it's not, is aromatic cheese menu. Ar all one word, lowercase, aromatic cheese menu. So if you are members of the event quiz, you can go to the website now, type in aromatic cheese menu, and you will have uh, images of all three of those posters that you can click on and you can have a lot more detail. For the rest of you, don't worry, don't worry. I'm still going to guide you through this post around and you're still going to have just as much access. It's just for the really, really into it people that just want me to shut up and <laughs> let them go through the posts at their own rate. This is what this is, <laughs> this is what they pay for. But for the rest of you, just come along for the ride with me. So uh, tonight, uh, our theme is uh, cookery. Everyone's very much getting into cookery at the moment. Where our first poster, poster A, is all about utensils. And we are looking at, uh, like for those of you on the digital answer pack, again, just the first letter of the answer. Now, some of these, you might be able to sort of explain what it is in two words. Don't explain what it is in two words. Explain what it is in one word. It is a one word answer and only a one word answer. And you are putting the first letter of each of them. So here we go. Here's number one. Uh, we actually have one of them in our house. Ridiculously expensive because it's made by Joseph Joseph. But I mean, it's a, it's a great brand and they, they look gorgeous. But what, what, what does it do? What's the first letter of what it does? We'll do all of these posters twice as well. So don't worry. Let's go to number two. Nice little easy one. Nice little easy one. It's that, that metal bit underneath. Don't worry about the, the, veg, the veg at the top. It's just a nice image that I wanted to convey. Now, here's number three. Now, there is just one word for this. You could, you could, you could say it's a uh, uh. But don't do the first uh. Do the next uh. It's, you know, if you just say that first word on its own, that doesn't mean anything. The second one, if I'm just confusing you, don't, don't worry. And this is the hardest one. You need to be into the into the patisserie. Let's try number four. Lethal. The most lethal gadget you can ever have in a kit. Well, is it the most lethal? Well, the most, the most <laughs> likely to <laughs> lacerate you in all manners. But what, what's it called? It's just a one word answer. Is there someone genuinely from Paraguay? Please, Kenpi. Really? Are you from Paraguay? I'm a very big welcome if you are. Let's go with number five. Number five. This, uh, it, okay. Don't, don't even, th if you're thinking of an English word, it's, it's not an English word. It, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a foreign <laughs> word. I think it's, is it Italian? I think it's Italian. Yeah, I think it's, it's an Italian name, but it's like, you know, we would, we, we would use the same name. <laughs> let's go to number six come on we know that one don't we just the first letter you don't you, you know it's just the first letter that's all we need number seven there's a fear some people might just give these lots of different names there is only one name for it really a lot of these sort of extra names i think it'd be called also start in my head with the same letter so don't really worry. Remember, you just after the first letter. That's just a range of them. You know, there's mini ones, there's large ones. Uh, number eight is, uh, is well, one part of uh, a two-part thing. <laughs> God. Mike, if you keep writing down answers, I'm going to... I'm sorry. I have to, I have to do this. So I have to... I'm sorry that you can't write answers on the 
on the thing. Keep, I know you're just getting into it, but don't write answers down. If you write another answer down, I will bar you. I really don't want to bar people from chat. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. It's really like the actual quiz, isn't it? We're just, it's just virtual. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, so, <laughs> Jesus. There's eight. What is it? It's part of two things. There's one and the other. That's one part of it. What's the name of it? I feel like, I, I feel like I'm running behind massively. Okay. And then your final one, uh, number nine. What do you reckon it is? What do you reckon it is? It's something that you that you would stand pots on, okay? Like I, I, my family call them pot stands, but they're not pot stands because there's two words, isn't it? There's one technical term for it. Okay, for those of you that aren't that don't have access to those posters, let me just do them. Let's let's just quickly do them again for you. So remember, it's just the first le first letter of each one. There's number one. Number two. <laughs> number three, number four, number five, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. What do you mean there's a plumbing problem, Mum? Is the house, like, flooded or something? <laughs> right, OK. Oh, God, I need to stop getting distracted by these comments. OK, right. So, uh, B now, uh, poster B. It's all about the pasta, folks, OK? So, pasta. So, you're not, uh, uh, not the particular dish, just the name of the pasta. The name of the pasta, OK? So, here's your first pasta, pasta number one. This is very common... You will have all had, it's not the most, you know, common of all pastas, but no, no, it is there. And when you buy it, it comes in like little bunches. It doesn't come straight. It comes in like little, um, <laughs> I just thought, like a little bird's nest. Again, again, <laughs> bird's nest. A little bird's nest of pasta. Let's go to number two now. The the the, the seashell ones. Don't say seashell. What, uh, what is the name? Number three, they're the big, they're the big tubes. I know that looks, but that, that's a big tube about that long and it's been filled with stuff. It's the tube, tubular, large tubular. Number four, I'm going to accept two answers to this. So both first letters is fine. Uh, there, there is there is a generic answer for just uh, the name of a, a pasta that w with a filling. And then there's this particular one. That's a large version of the smaller one. But both the large and the smaller version still start with the first letter. <laughs> I really geeked out over this. A leak in the loft. How is there a leak in the loft? It's not even raining. Oh, God. But right, let's go to number five. Number five. Okay, so short tubes. That sort of um, what's it? What's it got? Rifles. That rifled edge around the side uh, is uh, is a sort of the you know the the <laughs> the defining factor. Number six. It is not bow ties it is not that if you put a b you are not going to get a point it is not a b it is any other letter but bit well it's not it's only one letter but it's not a b it's not bow ties seven now the the swirly ones the spirally ones the spirally ones Really nice. That's a very classy version, actually. That looks looks delicious as well, doesn't it? You'll get these all again. You'll get these all again, so don't worry. Eight. Now, eight looked a little bit like one, but, it, but it's not one. Eight is ever so slightly sort of uh, th thicker, 
not as wide and as rounded edges. Rounded edges. Well, you can see. You can, I mean, you can see that in the image. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, what is Dad doing up there? He's just he's just hanging out, thinking I just really, really don't want to do this quiz. I'm just going to let Linda do it on her own. <laughs> I hate quizzes. <laughs> And uh, number nine, final one is the the big one, bit like number one, but even bigger. Matt, like, look at that in in terms of the scale. That I intentionally add the image of the spoon there to give you that scale. I mean, that's a, that's at least two fingers wide. Two, two fingers. <laughs> Dad's back. Okay, great, great, <laughs> great. Right, let's do them again. <laughs> right. There's number one. Remember, for those of you with the digital answer pack, just, just tap the first letter. That's all good. Here's number two. The seashells, but it's not seashells. Number three was the, the tubes, the large tubes that are filled. Uh, number four, two potential answers there. I will accept both of them. Well, there's three, three potential uh, answers. Uh, five, five. It's a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> it's been mending a pipe it is i feel like this is like friday night dinner or something but it's like tuesday night quiz <laughs> lovely bit of squirrel <laughs> uh here's uh number six it's not bow tie it's not bow tie <laughs> Uh, there's seven, seven. Uh, there's something about it. It just looks so, I just love, I just love Italian food. Uh, number eight. It's not the same as number one. It's very different to number one. Don't insult Italians by saying, oh, it's just the same as number one. <laughs> and number nine, that final one, nice and, nice and wide. Really, really, <laughs> How do you make Mao Am sauce? I, I like the idea of that, though. Mao Am sauce. <laughs> Spaghetti and the Mao Am. Okay, uh, a poster C now. Herbs and spices. Some of these are, are dead obvious. Others are not so. So, number one, you know, your, your, be your beginner's, your beginner herb there, isn't it? That's a real beginner. <laughs> Crimble crumble. <laughs> <laughs> So number number one, that's the the basil. Oh shit! I just said it. How can I delete what I just said? I can't. I'm sorry, but you know that anyway. Well, we all knew that was going to happen at some point. Here's number two, nice and easy one. I might as well tell you the answer to that one as well. Jesus. <laughs> There's number three. Now, be careful with that one. Well, I mean, I mean say be careful, but yeah, it, it, it could be easily mistaken for some that are not so. Uh, number four is a nice ovs, 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 ovs. Come on. Absolutely love it. Got them growing in a garden. Didn't actually come up that well this year, actually. I'm normally, yeah, anyway. Sorry, <laughs> going off on a tangent there. Number five. This is interesting. It's a root. A root. Look at that on the left hand side. They look, look, look like sort of witchetty grubs, don't they? But they're not. It's it's a root, and that's its ground form. <laughs> yeah, I got answers again, again, again. <laughs> yeah, I just again. I was like, how do I? How can I delete myself? I, I, I can't, sadly. Well, I can. I could just end the stream right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, number six. Here you go. Number six. The answer is not uh, the letter N, N for November. It is not N for November. It's like N for November, but it's called something different. So it's not N for November. It's something else. <laughs> last the last time I checked, John's uh, scissors was not a, was not a, was not a herb. Uh, here's number seven. Yeah, it's so familiar, so familiar. You've definitely you, you might have bought that. If you, I mean, you haven't. <laughs> 
It's lovely. It's, it's lovely though. It's one of the. It's, I mean, look, I say lesser. It's one of the lesser used common herbs. Here's number eight. Most often used in its dry form, I would say. I've never, ever used that um, in its uh, non-dried form, in its wet form. Uh, it, it, it's always been dried. So there's a bowl of the dried stuff. As a bit of a clue, I'll say that we say it different in American English and English English. There's a difference in pronunciation. So that narrows it down to pretty much every freaking herb we have. <laughs> <laughs> and uh final uh final one is uh number nine spice there that's uh in its uh, in its pod you can have that ground but that's in it in its pod very distinctive little pods very strong flavor as well you wouldn't want many of them so there's all uh nine should we go uh do we go back <laughs> Let's go back to the start. Uh, where where were we? Where were we? Where were we? So here we go. Here's number one. Oh, um, can you remember what I told you the answer was to that one? That's number one. Number two again. That's so obvs, isn't it? Is that not obvs? It's totally obvs. Uh, number three. Why is it not going to number three? Number three. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's that wonderful spice we've all had, known as aluminum, <laughs> or is it aluminium? I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> That's good. Uh, here's number four. I'm just going to. We know what number four is. If you know what number four is, in uh, well, oh, I'm not going to say anything negative, but number five. That's that's a uh, that's tougher. Number six, it's not N for November. Do not put N for November. It does not start with N for November. Re oh, actually, titanium, maybe. Titanium, titanium. But that's for the other one, not for this one. Uh, number seven. It is lovely. It is lovely. It looks wilted there. It's not wilted. It is it's kind of, it's a little wilted when you, well, actually, no, maybe it's just when you buy it. Here's number eight. Always in uh, the in its well, always in its dried form, but mostly. And number nine, your final one. So for those of you with your digital answer back, all you're doing is just pressing the first letter of the answers. If you're just uh, playing along for fun, just say the answer in your head and remember what you said. Uh, if you're not, uh, if you're writing it down, uh, write your answers down. Picture round. One point for each of these. Don't get pissy about the answers, okay? If you're doing a digital answer back, you're just there or you're, or you're not there. So, our first poster, the, the uh, instruments, the utensils of cooking. Number one was a steamer. It was a steamer. It was only anything other than a steamer. A very classy and expensive steamer, but it's still a steamer. Number two was a colander, a colander. Number three was a docker, a docker, uh, a pastry docker. There's, well, there's a pornographical term docker. Don't look, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't look that up. But that, that is a pastry docker. That is a pastry docker. Oh, Jesus. Uh, number four is the mandolin. Sounds like you could play it. It's the mandolin. But no, it's not. You you know, that's it. That is a, a, a chopper. Number five is the mezzaluna. Mezzaluna, that's Italian for half moon, which makes sense really, doesn't it? So mezzaluna, half moon. Number six is the zester. It's the Z word. It's the Z word. Very unusual to have a Z word, but it's the Z word after all, the zester. Number seven is a spatula. If you call it a scraper, um, no, just no. There are so many things that are capable of scraping. It is not a scraper. It's a bloody spatula. Number eight, the two parts. It's the pestle, the pestle part of it. Number nine, 
is a trivet. A trivet. It's not a pot stand. I would call it a pot stand, but it's a trivet. A trivet. So a T is what we needed. <laughs> yeah. Did you go? Yeah. Don't get pissy. Don't get pissy. Uh, okay, on to the next one. The the pasta, pasta. Steph, Steph Giordano. Are you are you are you watching right now? Because you can back me up if people if people disagree with me. Anyway, let's have a go. So, pasta number one is the tagliatelle. Tagliatelle, as I say, it's something like little nest, isn't it? Like little, like you know, just sort of wrapped around nest. So, T tagliatelle. Number two is the conchigli conchigli uh, this is great because you don't need to worry about spelling it's just c for conchigli like i say it's the um <laughs> yeah what are the what are the like are the are the guy are the arabic guys just giving out answers because i will block them i will block them just like the poop children i will block them uh let's <laughs> fucking hell Let's go to number three. The field ones are cannelloni. Cannelloni. Uh, number four. Okay, so the the big ones are tortelli. You might be more familiar with the smaller versions, which are tortellini. Uh, but also, like I said, there's a generic one, which is ravioli. Ravi ravioli is just a generic term for anything, any pasta with a with a filling. So you could have a T or or an R. I, w I would have given you the point. Oh, sorry, just hit the mic. Uh, the number five is the rigatoni. The rigatoni. <laughs> I'll ignore that. Uh, number six is not bow tie. It is fafale. Fafale. You don't need to say it with the accent, but just an F is enough. Uh, number seven is the Fusili. Fusili. I don't know how to say it. Come on. That's what you need to be here, Steph. You know. Uh, so just an F is enough. Uh, number eight is the Linguini. Linguini. Uh, number nine. Is, uh, the final one is the Papadelli. <laughs> I'm not Italian anyway, but it's the, the Papadelli. Papadelli. I'll have the Papadelli with the mushrooms, please. So it's the Papa Deli. We just need a P. You just need a P. That's all you need. Okay. Herbs and spaces. Uh, our first one. Well, oh, Jesus, I told you, didn't I? It's Basil. Would you believe it's Basil? I'm so glad that I at least uh, released the, the answer to a ridiculously easy one. So uh, that was Basil. Number two, Ginger. There you go. Uh, number three, was time a time it could be uh, yeah the, it, it's similar to, uh, to a many but uh it is time number four is chive chive so we just need a c on a digital lance pack number five is turmeric turmeric uh timmy brought that in the other day did a test on me what do you reckon this is and i was like i have absolutely no idea so i'm giving it to you uh, number six is mace. It is mace. It is not nutmeg. I mean, technically, it is part of nutmeg. But I said, don't do N. Don't do N. It's M for mace. Uh, number seven is tarragon. Tarragon. Uh, number eight is oregano. Always or oregano. 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number nine is cardamom cardamom uh, car cardamom pods cardamom pods 